Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest. Today, I think we're gonna go for Extraction Outpost because I don't really remember what this is and it's also an enemy base so that should be interesting but first I need to learn some more things from the tech tree because I spotted this. I believe we got this after we captured tar fields and I just didn't notice it. So anyways, we can get face fabric now and while we're here I'm also going to get the silicon crucible I would like to get this new core, but I don't think I have enough resources for it, and I think I'm just going to start chipping away at Multiplicative Reconstructor, although we do not have the Thorium for that, so I think I'm actually just going to settle for getting Vault, and there we go, finish that. All of these things that are locked are Research Phase Fabric and Surge Alloy, and I think I'm just going to make a quick setup for both of those just to get those blueprints unlocked. There we go. Phase fabric unlocked. I believe that unlocked a lot of research. Yes, it did. Wow. So what did we unlock? We can get a segment, which is not that good. Actually, I don't know. I've never really used it very much. We've got large solar panel, memory cell, large logic, the two conduit, like the phase, the two phase things, phase conveyor and phase conduit. Very nice. And I think that's about it. The other thing I'm going to set up is a quick surge smelter. Because, you know, I also want to get that unlocked and start getting produced while we're just sitting around doing nothing. So I'm going to set that up real quick. Now I have this blueprint that I use for uh, Surge. I mean, there's no way we're going to have enough resources for this, but I don't really care. Alright, there we go. Surge Alley should be coming in any second now. We're not getting a lot of silicon, but honestly at this point I don't really care. I suppose I can just slap down another one for the walls. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. We got our per first piece of Surge Alloy. Beautiful. So that should unlock a lot more things in the tech tree, such as the Disassembler, Surge Tower, uh, Surge Wall, and Meltdown. I'm just going to kind of let those things build up while we go capture Extraction Outpost down here. And I'm going to launch from Tar Fields again because this is my most prized sector, I suppose. Let's go. I hope I'm prepared for this. Okay, well that was very weird, because my core definitely did not land over here. Anyways, let's go take a look at the enemy base and pause real quick. And that's just anti-air, so we can raid that. That fuse is going to be a problem. Fuse again. We cannot range them, though, so it shouldn't be that bad. And the core, not too bad. I think we can just outrange that. You know what, let's get power going immediately. Do a little bit of that, and that should kickstart our entire system. Never mind, I messed it up. Give me a second now. <laughs> and I believe that is good to go. You know, honestly, the great part about this place is there is just water everywhere. So. All right, graphite done. All right, there we got a really janky silicon setup there, but I don't even know if we're going to be able to run all those. But I think I'm just going to wall off this section and place like a turret tower box thingy in the other entrance over here. Yeah, I brought some thorium, so I can just afford to do this. They should end up going this way now, right past my fuse. Yep. I'm thinking we come up from... We can go all the way around and come up from here, take out these fuses from a long range, take out these fuses from a long range. These hails might pose to be a problem. How far do they reach? Nope, as long as we go this way, we'll be fine. And then we can just take out the fuse and the parallax from up here and take the core down immediately. Sounds good. Let's just get some uh, normal daggers going, because that's really all we need. All right, there we go. Got our uh, janky little setup going. That's not even plugged in. We should probably plug that in. All right, there we go. Got our janky little dagger. I wouldn't even call this a factory. It, well, whatever it is, we got it working. Five minutes later. All right, how are we doing on units? We got seven. Wait for this one to get crafted, and then I'll just hit group up and begin our first assault. I don't even know if we're going to succeed on the first assault, but we're going to find out. Oh, no. We might have to rethink our plans. Looks like that bozo is going to get stuck. Hurrah, hurrah. 
Alright, we have arrived at our first target. Let's take down these fuses from a distance so we don't get blasted. One down. Two down. Alright, our path is clear. Let's do this. Make sure Bozo doesn't get stuck. Come on, man. What? Interesting choice that one did. Alright, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch yourself there. I don't want to be... I don't want to end up dead now. <laughs> I think we can out-damage this wall here. Out-damage the mender. Yeah, we can. Alright, fuse. Destroy this thing real quick. Let's move up a little bit. First fuse down. I don't think that the wave does much damage, but I'm going to stay out of its range just in case. Alright, parallax down. I guess we're going to find out if that wave does anything, because he's just <laughs> hosing down the guy in the front, man. Let's destroy the mender. There we go. This core will go down any second now. And that's it. We're done already. And we got there before wave 8 even showed up. Alright, well, there we go. I guess we don't even need these defenses anymore. And we can just start tearing down this place. Do I get phase forever from deconstructing these now? I do, because I've actually unlocked them. Sweet. Use this in research. Alright, before I do that, though, let's repurpose this into an air factory. I gotta move my boys out of the way, because I can't build there, bro. You know what? They can just retire to this nice little lakeside area. There you go. I was gonna try to drown them, but it didn't work, so... I beg your pardon? What did I actually unlock from here? Oh, launch pad. That's going to be very crucial for things that I'm going to do. Specifically in salt flats. So that's good to have. Do I have enough thorium to start researching some other things as well? Oh, we can get phase conveyor. And phase conduit. We can also get mass driver. Yes, please. Uh, no, let's not take a chip away at that just yet. We have enough for solar panel. Beautiful. Alright, well, let's see how good three polys is for taking stuff down. Faster than my drone, but not fast enough. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to destroy it all of this garbage over here, and I will let you know when that's done, because this is rather boring to watch. Alright, that looks like all of it. Well, we're going to do a little bit of changing. I believe this entire thing, since we've got 7.9k silicon, this whole thing has got to go. Alright, and now we need to rebuild this for a pure power plant. We're getting a solid 9.2 thousand power per second. That should be plenty. Let's start doing a huge, huge production over here. First of which, starting off with Pyrotite, because I'm actually going to use our new silicon crucibles. Lead, there's our lead. I'm going to use plastinium conveyors, because they're just so good. And I think that's going to work. I think this is going to work. Let's just give it a whirl and find out. All right, so it looks like this works. No, it doesn't. Oh, man. All right, well, I can't figure this out, so I think I'm just going to do the good old standard classic Firefly trick of just doing it the old-fashioned way. Ta-da! Pyrotite, yay. Now I know this works because I've tested it before. We do not have much plastinium left. I might have to launch some more over. Hopefully not though. Man, I really am just putting these things in the most inconvenient places, aren't I? And that's not even plugged in, bruh. There we go. Now we'll be getting sand at a much higher rate. Will it even be enough? I don't know, but we're going to find out soon enough because we're plugging this in right now. Bada bing bada boom, there we go, silicon for days. Now, I think I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the pyrotite and just use this right here. This factory blueprint that I have. Slap. I think we can afford to do six. Now lead is going to be the other thing that I'm gonna be using this strategy for because lead is the one that you need the most of for this kind of thing. So I'm going to try to mine as much of this as I physically can to try to keep up with it. That should do. Power has been cut out to the whole base, because I deconstructed something on accident. Great. Water. We don't have water. Yep, we ran out of power. Oh, great. All right, hold on. 
slap down a large solar panel, a large battery, and this is going to be our backup, just in case I do this more than once. All right, there we go. Problem solved. All right, that should be getting lead in there, right? Yep. And now I'm actually pretty much out of plastanium, but I didn't really want to use it anymore. Anyway, so we're just going to do things the usual way for the last two. There we go, titanium. And if we need more, we can always send it in from the other side. I think that should be good to go. This should just start turning on our factories now. In which case, we should probably route this to the core real quick. Like so. Hopefully that's turned on. It has. Do we not have enough copper for this? I know we're going to have enough silicon. This is overkill. Way, way, way overkill. I think we'll be good on lead because it looks like we're holding stable. Copper and titanium. Titanium's looking fine, but copper is not. All right, let's get some more copper then. All right, there we go. Looks like these are working at full time. All the time. Is our titanium holding? No, it isn't. All right, well, luckily we have another vein right down here that I can just start tapping into. There we go. And we got titanium from this side, and that is it, I believe. So now we've got surge. Let's see what we can research with our newly found riches. Besides the multiplicative, we're almost there. First thing I think I'm going to get is both walls. We have enough for phase walls as well. That is very useful. Surge tower, yep. Start chipping away at nucleus as well. We just need more thorium. I suppose we can start chipping away at meltdown as well. We just need surge. Just need thorium and phase fabric for segment. Just chip it away at everything. More thorium, phase fabric, phase fabric, surge alloy. All right, so basically just need thorium, surge alloy, and phase fabric. All right, what's our next choices? We can do overgrowth, we can do impact, or we can do nuclear production. I think I don't even want to try to do nuclear because I know four of these sectors are enemy bases and they will just wipe me out the second that my defenses are done. So that being unfortunate. Anyways, I will decide which one to do and we will do that in the next episode. Goodbye.